Today we're going to show you how to do eggplant and pepper seeds. Super easy to get these started, but you do need to start them a little bit ahead of time because they're, they're fairly slow growing. This is one cup of worm castings. We did some trials last year and worm castings really improve the uh, production. I'm aiming for a 10% mix, more or less, of worm castings, so I'm going to add 10 cups of just normal uh, sterile potting soil to my one cup of worm castings. You want your containers to be uh, clean. These are old ones from last year that I have washed in hot water and soap. From here, I'm just going to fill them up. I've got these fun so true seed markers. They're pretty good. Uh, I've also used, this is just a cut up old uh, window blind, so they work as well. It's just really important to have good labeling practice because you never remember. You always think you're gonna remember, you never remember. Pro tip, I've done a pepper an eggplant, a pepper, and an eggplant. And that's because there's seedlings that peppers and eggplants look quite different. Um, but a pepper and a pepper of a different variety might look pretty similar. And if I accidentally put a seed in the wrong place, I'll be much more easily able to separate them back out. So, Pepper seeds are pretty small. Uh, these are a couple of years old, so I'm going to plant them a little bit heavier than I normally would. If they were new seeds, I might do two or three seeds per plug. But because these are older seeds, I'm going to do like four or five per plug. And I, if, if they all germinate, that's fantastic. I can just thin them out afterwards. Because they're small seeds, I'm just, I'm just going to put a scatter a couple on top. And I'm just going to press them in with my finger. I'm looking for about a quarter of an inch, more or less. I don't want to go too, too deep, otherwise the seedling won't be able to emerge. But if I'm too shallow, because these can be fairly slow to germinate, there's a chance that they will dry out and, and die. So we don't, we don't want them to dry out when they're in the germination phase. They can be fairly sensitive. Oh, actually, I've only got two or three of these seeds left, so I'm going to go ahead and just spread them all out. And this is definitely a year I'm going to have to save seeds because I've just run out of my seed stock. So from there I just press them down. So I'm getting real good seed to soil contact. And then I just want to go in and just put a little bit of soil on top. This is where my quarter of an inch depth comes into play. I'm just going to spread this out. Tap it down gently. And those seeds are snug as a bug. Eggplant seeds are even smaller than pepper seeds. But I'm, I'm going to do the same four or five seeds per plug. Just going to transfer these guys to a tray. Could have done this first. Just not very organized. So seeds are planted and labeled. I'm going to use the same trick I used to germinate my microgreens. Just put an unbleached paper towel on top and then seeds need moisture and temperature to germinate. Once they've germinated they need light to grow. So at this stage we're just trying to encourage germination 
this layer on top can just, one stops me disturbing other soil and I can water it really easily and two, preserve some of the moisture. Once the little seedlings start to germinate through, I'll pull this paper towel off and give them the light they need. You can uh, buy like plastic tops that will trap in some of the heat and moisture. I've actually got a pretty humid grow room where I'm going to transfer these guys to and they'll be pretty happy. Uh, I, the good thing about them being in this container is that I can fill it full of water from beneath and then the roots and the soil will kind of draw the, the moisture up so I'll make sure they don't dry out. So now all I need to do is transfer these to somewhere where they're going to be nice and warm. It doesn't need to be light until they germinate. I've actually got a grow, a, a, a heating pad and I'll put them on the heating pad. Eggplants and peppers really need warm soil. We're talking about at least 75 Fahrenheit to get good germination. Uh, it can be slightly cooler, but it'll be slower to germinate if you don't have that temperature. So having it on some form of heating pad really helps or, or a nice warm room uh, that's gonna stay warm. So from here, keep them warm, keep them moist, uh, and then they'll germinate, and that's a different video. Good luck!